Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay and welcome to Inside the Hem where we dive into all things sewing with style and budget in mind. This month I have been bringing you 30 days of festive fashion sewing where each day I'm sharing a new garment sewing project idea to inspire your holiday wardrobe. I can't believe it, we're almost like within a week of being done. <laughs> There's been a lot of a lot of ideas, so um, but no matter your personal style, join me as we add a touch of handmade magic to this season's celebrations. Let's dive into today's project: an accordion pleated skirt. So this is the project that looks like it took days when it really only takes a couple of hours. If that is your kind of sewing, today's project is for you. These skirts are made from pre-pleated fabrics and they look so chic and elegant with minimal effort and will stun at any party. Plus they're like super comfortable even though they may not look like it. I don't know. Without further ado, let's just get into it. All right, I knew it would only be a matter of time before a Bowden garment made it into my inspiration, but this is today's inspo for our project. This is the Camilla metallic midi skirt, $210. It comes in this green color and also this silver, super cute. Also kind of, oops, kind of love how they've styled them here, right? I mean, you can see yourself wearing that. That's not too dressy. Maybe for some people it is, but they also just have it with a sweater. Anyways, um this is this the description is really cute locate your nearest dance floor immediately because this skirt was made with revelry in mind that's so cute shaped to a midi cut and fixed with razor sharp accordion pleats from hip to hem it's given the midas touch with a metallic gold finish that's primed for party season i don't know who writes those but those are really cute so 100 percent polyester it is fully lined um machine washable semi-fitted midi length uh, concealed hook and eye at side seam with invisible zipper. She's 5'10", and it's hitting her ankle? Are you kidding me? That means it's really long. I mean, most people, I think it would be like a maxi length. Um, but looking at these photos, can I zoom in? I don't think so. Um, they are, well, that's not my favorite favorite look although those shoes these are green velvet mary janes love those um but the sweater's just not really my vibe but anyways we're talking about the skirt okay so we have a dedicated waistband and i'm 99 percent sure that this waistband is this fabric just ironed out a little bit that's what i think i'm gonna go with that and then you have the accordion pleats and just based on the way she's moving is how the pleats are opening up. I don't think they've done anything to ensure that this top part stays closer together. It's just how she's walking and moving is what's pulling them apart. So you can see it more there. This one has like a pretty deep uh, or a wide waistband, it's probably like an inch, inch and a half. Okay, we get the idea. Super cute, right? And then we'll look at the silver one just for more ideas. You can see how they have styled it there. Pretty, huh? And then I do have another ready to wear inspo. This one's from Banana Republic. It is originally $130, now on sale for $52. And they have all these sizes. Oh, I don't know. Somebody needs to snatch that up. Um, anyways, same sort of deal. You can see we've got like a dedicated waistband and the accordion pleated fabric and some kind of metallic. Their waistband is a little bit narrower, maybe only like an inch wide. Right? Doesn't that look narrower? Um, and you can see that theirs are not as pleated at the top. Okay, so the star of this show is really the fabric. Pattern-wise, I actually don't even have a pattern for you guys. Instead, I have some tutorials. That's how easy this skirt is to sew. You don't even need a pattern for it. So DIY Hemmers, I think she's out of Denmark, 
has her version of how to make this with some really cool and interesting tips for getting like a straight line hem and adding an elastic waistband. Then we have Threads Magazine's version. They have made a dedicated waistband and they inserted snaps instead of a zipper. You can obviously just put a zipper in here as well, but they have a lot of really great photos and tips for making this skirt. Do they show it finished at the end? No, they don't, but, um, but you know, Threads Magazine, they're gonna go into a lot of detail. So there's that version and then there's also I so therefore I am is a blog and here's hers finished okay so you can see exactly how it's going to turn out if you use her tutorial I also want to say she used elastic as well so the the threads tutorial is the most like our inspiration yeah elastic um, but I mean, if you want a real quick and dirty version, you can easily make this too. So don't worry about the measurements. Don't worry about like, don't overthink it. It's not that hard to make. It's going to fit and it's going to look great. I'll link all three of these tutorials. You can read through them and you will be a pro at making these skirts by the end. So since the fabric is the star, I have a couple of options. One is this version from Etsy. They have nine colors, it looks like. Accordion pleated faux silk satin fabric. It does have the kind of metallic sheen to it, although it might just be more of a satiny type of sheen. But here are all the colors that you can get. It is $13.74 per yard. Tons of colors, like literally all the colors of the rainbow really really nice and then I also found this from Blue Moon Fabrics who also has a ton of colors but titanium pleated polyester fabric so these pleats are less of an accordion pleat and more of just like not an accordion <laughs> they almost look like uh I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. They're, just, they're not ups and downs, ups and down, up and down like accordion is. But I think you'd still get a similar effect. I threw this in because there's a bunch of colors and this is definitely more metallic. I think you can see what it looks like better up here. Where the fold is, it's kind of being they're kind of being separated. I don't know. I think this version would be pretty as well. It is $16 a yard, right? Yeah, not half a yard. Yeah, $16 a yard. And there's like really fun, pretty, truly metallic um, fabrics. So if you love the metallic version, um, where's like a, they don't have like a gold. This green is really pretty. Anyways, that's the metallic version, or if you want to just go satin and have an absolute like accordion type of thing happening, ups and downs only, <laughs> um, peaks and valleys only, then grab the one from Etsy. Thank you for joining me for today's festive project. I hope recreating this skirt sparks some inspiration for your holiday sewing. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on tomorrow's project where we will be recreating like a cut out top to maybe wear with this skirt. Could be really cute. I can't wait to see you back here for more 30 days of festive fashion. Happy sewing. I will see you all very soon. Bye.